X to find aim is a bit tricky. I'll be giving you guys five pro tips to help you have the best aim. Let's start off with the most important one, and that's going to be centering. Now, essentially what this is, is you're maneuvering around the map. You're going to have your crosshairs and your dot centered of the screen. That way, you know, when you come around a corner, you're ready to snap and take them out. Just like that. This does require a little bit of practice. And at first, if you don't do it, it's going to feel weird. And you're probably going to be a little bit off. But this does change based off elevation. So, for example, if I'm coming up a staircase, if I'm coming up a ramp, it's going to change. And it's not just going to be, you know, I'm not going to center on the staircase. It also changes if you're anticipating an opponent somewhere specifically. But, for example, on this staircase, I'm not going to just run up the staircase like this. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up as I'm coming up the staircase and then go back into the center of my screen. And this is something just as little as that. But you do that everywhere you go. As you see, I'm already centered on this head glitch right here. And he's in front of me. You can see I'm always centered and just ready for a fight. Kind of what you see with all these really talented and amazing players, what they're able to do. And their centering is on point. I come around a corner, immediately centered on him, ready to snap, take him out. And that's what I mean. I come around here. Instead of centering low, I'm going to aim up. You see that little difference right there? Instead of centering here on the staircase, which I'm essentially I'm looking at a staircase and not really somebody, that little just change up right here. Boom, able to snap him and take him out because I'm anticipating someone there. So especially depending on the situation, if I'm coming around this corner and I'm anticipating someone to be here, I'm not going to center like this, right? Or even high up. I'm not going to center like this. Instead, I'm going to center low. And, I, and I'm going to center lower. And I'm going to continuously center and come around the corner. That way, I'm always ready for that fight. And this is, requires some muscle memory. requires some practice, like I said, to get used to. And then you're going to be smoking people just like that. This is something the pro players do so well. And what I want you to do when you're playing a map is just think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Especially if you struggle at it. Just run around the map, be like, okay, I'm going to center on my screen. I'm always going to center when I need to center. And if you're anticipating someone, make sure to center in that area as, as I'm anticipating someone here to shot. And you see how like, I'm just ready for the centering. I'm centered. Centered, center, centered. Obviously, you're going to want to use some slides there, hit some movement, but that's just the point of it. Next, we're going to be talking about using both sticks. Now, every gunfight I engage in, I use both sticks every single time. There's never a gunfight where I'm like, okay, I'm using only my right stick to aim. So what does the right stick do? Well, or what do the both sticks do? Obviously, right stick is to aim and left stick is to strafe. But essentially, you want you want to get that rotational aim assist, which when you use both sticks, you're able to get that. And it's going to help you get a little bit stick your aim assist. Now, obviously, this game is kind of hard to shoot people off a head glitch, but I'm trying to take this guy out really quickly. And as you see, I'm centered around the corner, take him out. But basically, while I'm shooting, I'm not just standing still shooting, correct? Instead, what I'm going to be doing is strafing and shooting. So, one, you get that rotational aim assist, which is nice. Two, you get to make that little changes versus having to make big changes. So, I can kind of strafe my character into them versus kind of having to make those little minuscule changes. No, very minor changes with my right stick, which can be quite hard sometimes. So, I'm using basically both sticks to aim, if that makes sense. I'm going to be using my strafe while I'm trying to control my stick and shoot at the same time. And that's going to allow me to have more precise aiming, hit my shots better, etc. Just like that. Anytime I shoot my gun, anytime I'm on a gunfight, I'm always moving both sticks every single time. Like, you'll see me move. You see, you'll see me strafing in the game right now. Always, every time. I'm never standing still when I'm shooting. Always strafing, even if they're not looking at me. There is once in a blue moon. Like, especially if it's a free kill, they're not looking at me. And maybe I won't strafe. But usually, I am. And this also applies even if you're on a head glitch, because, you know, if you don't know what a head glitch is, it's basically a cover that blocks everything, for example, right here, but your head. So I'm going to use this example right here. You see how this blocks basically everything? I'm not going to just stand still and shoot my right stick, you know what I mean? Because be, Just because I'm on a head glitch. You see how that, that felt kind of a harder kill, because I, I did only use my right stick there. Instead, even if you're on a head glitch, you're going to strafe. Obviously, if it's like one like this where you can't really strafe out, then you kind of tight it is what it is, but strafing even on a head glitch you're strafing it's gonna help you a lot every single gun has a different recoil pattern but understanding them and controlling them is key so i'm gonna shoot at this really quick and you can see it just goes to the right right this goes up to the right it's a pretty you know easy <laughs> recoil pattern to see and kind of describe so when i'm shooting my gun what i'm gonna do is want to counter that so i'm gonna shoot and i'm gonna hold down to the left now this is obviously me controlling it versus me just letting it go as in, you can see, it's a lot more precise. So with that being said, when I'm fighting, and that's just for this gun, every gun is different. I'm going to want to kind of aim down to the left. 
And that's going to allow me to control the recoil a little bit more and hit some shots that, you know, maybe the normal, the average person wouldn't hit or maybe someone who needs some work. As I engage in these gunfights, I'm going to aim down to the left. That's essentially what I'm going to do here. And as you see, my shot's very clean, very crisp. Obviously, a gun with an AK and some of the attachments I'm running, it's going to it's going to recoil just a bit. But, you know, it's pretty precise for the most part. And understanding that is very important because if you don't control the recoil pattern the correct way and you, you know, go look the wrong way or control it the wrong way, um, you will not shoot straight. That is, uh, that is fair to, <laughs> to assume you, you will, you will shoot circles. You know I mean? You might make a new, a new shape, some might say. So that's how I'm able to control this gun very well. Even a gun like the AK, which does kick. And I do have a rapid fire barrel on this. So it makes the gun recoil even more. And to further explain this even more, usually in weapons, you want to get more horizontal recoil control than vertical because horizontal in, in a game, especially with a controller, is a lot more difficult to control than vertical. Vertical is usually just pulling down your stick. Horizontal, it's really difficult to go left, right, left, right, left, right, correct? So I'm going to show you guys some attachments and give you guys an example. So right now, my AK, I do have rapid fire on, which gives me a lot of negative to recoil control, which is what I was trying to explain. So it makes, me, it, makes it harder to control the recoil and harder to shoot. But I do have hand stop, which gives me a huge boost to ADS ability and a little bit to vertical recoil control. But I also have precision, which gives me a boost to horizontal and vertical recoil control. And grip tape, again, to vertical. So the AK does have a bit of vertical recoil control, so it's good to, you know, manage that a little bit. But I do have the stock for the extra horizontal. But what I'm trying to say is there's other attachments to give you horizontal recoil control. Obviously, there's some cons to them, and some of them you don't want to have. If you're trying to make a gun have essentially low recoil and maybe an easier to control in general, then you're going to want to put more horizontal recoil control than vertical on the attachments. And that is one of the best tips I can give you guys as I turn on that person. And you can see I hit every single bullet. My gosh. And this next one is very, very important. I want to be talking about some of the settings because this is makes a big difference especially in x defiant so we're gonna skip over these i think reverse s curve is the best aim response curve type you really want to put this on these aim settings are slightly different than what i previously were, was using and the ones i posted they are a little bit harder to use but the ceiling is higher and you can definitely adjust it a little bit to your liking so i plan on 65 65 0 0.75 ads if this 65 65 seals a little too fast you can definitely lower it to like 50 maybe 45 50 60 but this is what i play on and then some things to know is i plan a very low dead zone because dead zone in this game feels like the the sticks just feel like kind of slow you feel almost like clunky it feels like your sticks aren't as responsive as other games so lowering your dead zones a lot makes the game feel fluid better easier and this does affect your aim don't think it doesn't your right stick dead zone affects your aim so you're going to want to make sure to have this dead zone very low. Some people put one, some people put two, three. Uh, the highest you want is at five. You don't want it any higher than five, but I recommend a lower like two, three, uh, somewhere around this range. And you're going to notice a difference. With this aim and this sensitivity and this ADS sensitivity multiplier, you're able to have a more consistent and a good shot. As you can see on my screen, I'm able to hit my shots, control that aim. And another thing to know for the last important thing is the acceleration speed multiplier. I have this all the way at zero. That's part of the reason why I have to play on such a high sensitivity. All aim acceleration does is, you know, when you're moving around, it's going to move faster for you. It's going to accelerate that. And it's all, it doesn't, it has nothing to do with your aim. But what I think this gener genuinely affects is your centering. And that goes back to what I told you, tip number one. Centering is probably the most important tips uh, when it comes to aiming. It's going to help you tremendously. So... I don't like the aim acceleration. I used to use it. It's not bad, but I feel like with this settings, it's just you have a higher ceiling. Uh, you could shoot like the way I'm shooting right now. And you can be like, wow, thank you so much for all these tips. But we're not done yet. We still got to talk about one more thing. And for tip number five, as simple as this sounds, you got to practice this in game. And I'm going to give you a couple examples how and why people sometimes don't. You got to be mindful when you're practicing and when you're practicing your aim, right? You can't just go in a game and be like, oh, I'm just going to shoot my gun and hope I get better, right? You got to be mindful of what I just talked about, centering. When you're moving around the map, you're going to center. You're going to make sure you're centering, look down, look up, center in the middle of your screen, and, and just to anticipate it. Even if you die a couple times centering, just practice it. And that goes with get into gunfights. Don't be afraid to run around center and just get into gunfights. The more gunfights you get, the more awkward gunfights you get. The easier it's going to be, the more practice you're going to get, the more you're going to be able to apply centering and all the other stuff I talked about, like controlling recoil, get the recoil control pattern down for whatever weapon you're using or just in general. And a lot of the time, some of these guns, it's just pulling down. It's very simple as just pulling down the stick, like just pulling down your stick. 
But again, like the AK and mine requires a little bit, you know, pull down a little bit more to the left to kind of shoot it straight. So it's a little bit different. <clears throat> and as you're playing again, use both sticks. Left, right, left, right, both sticks. Strafe. Strafe as you're playing. Use both sticks constantly. And that way, so when you're playing, this is what I want you to do. I want you to remember these things. Be mindful of these things so you actually apply them and you get the practice you need to improve your aim. And of course, put on some good settings. Settings are extremely important, especially in this game. Like I'm talking about, it could be night and day. It was for me. This game's aim, sensitivities, aim assist, it's all just a little weird and feels like kind of clunky sometimes. So you definitely need to make sure you have the right things on. If not, it's going to be bad for you. Your aim is going to be night and day. Like, you see, like I just laser. Guys, I was a Call of Duty professional for 10 years, a two-time world champion. I'm just trying to help you guys improve and get better at the game. I myself am absolutely loving it. And my aim has been amazing so far. I've learned a lot. So hope this video helped you out. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more tips and tricks that we'll be posting. Comment down below what other videos we guys would like to see. And I'll see you in the next one.